Welcome. A while back I did a review of the uh, River Lithium Power Bank by Echoflow. I'll pop a link to that uh, review in the description below. Today I want to have a look at their uh, 50 watt solar cell that they retail to support the river power bank, enabling it to be charged uh, using the sun. Uh, I'm based here in um, Brisbane, Australia, and I purchased the solar cell online, and it turned up uh, rather promptly uh, through DHL, DHL. So let's have a, a look at it. It came in this well, well sturdy cardboard box, and as you can see, uh, quite nicely packaged. Let's have a look inside. Some quite useful instructions on the inside of the box. But uh, there is also uh, in instructions and uh, specifications and the like uh, as well included. As you can see, uh, it's actually a nicely packaged solar cell in this nice sort of uh, water resistant uh, cloth. And these two handles here uh, for enabling you to uh, carry it. Uh, weighs in at about two kilos. Uh, it also comes with this lead, which uh, enables you to connect the uh, solar cell to uh, the, the uh, power bank. So let's uh, first of all see how we set the solar cells up. So there's these two zippers, which we uh, unzip. And then we can unfurl uh, the solar cell like this. These um, cells are sun power, uh, made in the US, really good quality solar cells, and uh, you know at around about uh, 22, 23 uh, percent efficient. So good quality cells. Uh, it has this rather neat feature whereby there's a little uh, a little uh, kickstand here which enables the cell to be angled. So we just basically, um, you know, attach it. I'll do that now, turn it around and do it. It's a bit easier from behind. So we just do this. And then basically the cell will stand, stand up uh, like this, um, angled to the sun, like a lot of solar cells that you uh, can purchase. So to connect it to the power bank, uh, you basically grab this lead, which is about one metre in length. And there's two different sizes on here. Uh, one will go into the uh, rear of the uh, power bank, which is the charging port, and that's used for all charging sources. We plug this in here. And the other end goes into the inside of the little pocket here, and there's a little... Uh, a little um, socket there that you enables you to connect it in. And that's all you need to do uh, and put it in the sun uh, and uh, it will charge away. Now that's great uh, and it does a good job. Um, this is a 50 watt solar cell and I would suggest that this is probably the sweet point. They do also sell a 20 watt solar cell uh, and while that might be a nice small form factor really, if you're doing any serious um, you know, use away from the grid, say camping, really 50 watt would be the way to go. The only real issue that I think with this is this lead. In Australia, if I put, put this out in the full sun for the whole day, which is really what I'd want to do, I don't want this in the sun because that's going to cook. Now I can hide it behind the solar cells, uh, and that'll, that'll probably uh, be okay. But if it rains, uh, your battery's going to be out um, in the rain. Now, you might say, well, why would you let that happen? Well, when you're out camping, for instance, you often go away from your campsite for you know, many hours on a bushwalk or whatever, and you really don't want to have a situation where uh, your, your power bank is, could be... Uh, you know, rained on, or worse, simply stolen. Uh, you, this could be easily uh, lifted. So what I've done is uh, I've made up this 10 metre uh, extension lead. Um, this is a 7 amp cable I got from JCAR. 
what I've found in, in real world practice with this uh, solar cell, it uh, puts out about 40 watts um, out, in the, out in the full sun, uh, which is around about two amps. So I've, the open, open, what's called the voltage open circuit on the cell is around 20 odd volts. And then when it's connected to the power bank, that drops down uh, under load to about 18 volts. So, you know, and two amps. So two amps uh, is fine with this cable. And what I've done is I've got this little uh, connector at the end here, which I can plug into the solar cell, little three and a half mil uh, jack they've got, plugs in there. The other end I've actually put um, a regular um, car charging plug and then I can use the lead that came with the river power bank because that will plug into there and then this will plug into the power bank. This would be normally used to go into a car port in your car, That's one of the old cigarette, old cigarette lighter uh, charging port. So now that's worked extremely well uh, and I've been able to then uh, place the solar cell, you know, 10 metres away from the uh, uh, power bank and have this, uh, you know, in the shade or in a tent or uh, in a place which I can secure it with a, with a, with a security cable or the like. So uh, that's about the only criticism I'd make of the unit uh, in that, uh, you know, this, this uh, one metre cable really, really isn't sufficient. I know that uh, Echo Flow have mooted um, the release of a longer cable, um, and I'm sure they will do that in time. So that's uh, that pretty much uh, is the is the solar cell. Um, so far, I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, I've I've had it out there charging uh, in the full sun for the whole day, um, and like I said, it's delivering 40 watts uh, continuously. You're not going to charge. If this is empty, you're not going to charge this in one day. So you've got to be realistic about that. This is a big battery. It's a 400-odd you know, watt-hour battery. But certainly, uh, you're going to get a, a fair bit of charge into this uh, you know, with, a, with a day in the sun. So um, I think this is, a, this is a pretty nice unit if, you, if you're going to be out off the grid and want to charge your battery up. The other thing, nice thing about the river, of course, is that you can use and charge. So if you've got a fridge, uh, a portable fridge, and you have that being powered by the river and you have this solar cell on, you know, you probably can actually just literally um, not discharge your battery uh, during the day uh, if you're in the full sun. So uh, there we are. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the uh, uh, the uh, the review and uh, found it useful. Thanks.